ओडिशा एफ सी विल वेलकम केरला ब्लास्टर्स एफ सी एट दी कलिंगा स्टेडियम इन दी इंडियन सुपर लीग ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव कैंपेन ऑन थर्सडे द जगर नॉर्ट गॉट देयर फर्स्ट विन एट होम अगेंस्ट जमशेदपुर एफ सी एंड विल बी कॉन्फिडेंट वेन दे फेस दी टस्कर्स केरला ब्लास्टर्स गॉट ए पॉइंट अगेंस्ट ड्यूरेंट कप ट्वेंटी फोर चैंपियंस नॉर्थ पी स्टार्टेड एफ सी इन देयर लास्ट आउटिंग एंड विल लुक टू गेट ए बेटर रिजल्ट दिस टाइम वेन दे ट्रेवल टू भुवनेश्वर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गिंग टू टॉक अबाउट इंजरी टीम न्यूज हेड टू हेड प्रेटेड लाइन अप प्लेस टू वॉच मैच फैक्ट एंड टेलीकास्ट अपडेट सो वेलकम टू द ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट प्रिव्यू ऑफ आई एस एल सीजन इलेवन बिफोर वी कंटिन्यू विद द वीडियो इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल येट देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड फॉलो अवर्स ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एज वेल Now let's get back to the preview. Sergio Oliveira's team are currently placed in 10th place with 3 points and will look to add more points when they face Mikhail Stares men. The visitors will however be determined to give a tough challenge to the home team and fans can expect an intense battle on the pitch. Now let's take a look at the Odisha FC. So the Juggernauts can finally be happy with their first win of the season but there are lot of expectations from them after bringing in high profile signings like Hugo Gomez and Raheem Ali. Rubera's men will have to make a statement in their next home game as they need to climb the points table if they are hope to get qualified for the playoff spot. It will be both a concern and a relief for Spanish tactician since his upcoming opponents and the Kalinga Warriors have given each other a tough time on the pitch whenever they have locked hands. This moth watering fixture is the more important for Odisha FC as they have to maintain their winning streak to get more points in their bag and build a full proof case as title contenders. Now let's take a look at the Kerala Blasters. So Kerala will be satisfied with how they have started their new season. Mikhail Stares is still demands more from his players as he knows that his team has a lot of quality. They did perform well against the Highlanders in the last match. but they need to address their finishing issues urgently against the juggernauts they will not get many openings as they are very compact at the back the match is crucial for them as winning this fixture will get them to a good position on the points table now let's take a look at the injury and team news so odisha fc will miss their captain carlos delgado for this fixture but the rest of the players are fit and will be available for the match Adin Luna is still in doubt for the match but Kerala Blasters don't have any injury concerns otherwise. Now let's take a look at the head to head. So both the teams have played 23 matches against each other. Kerala have won 8 and Odisha also have won 8 and 7 ended in a draw. In the last 5 matches Odisha FC have won 3 matches but lost 2 while Kerala have won 2 matches lost 2 and draw 1. In the points table Odisha FC is on the 10th place with 3 points in 3 matches and Kerala Blasters on the 5th place with 4 points in 3 matches. Now let's take a look at the predicted lineup. So Odisha FC can possibly use a 4-2-3-1 lineup today where Amrinder Singh will be their goalkeeper. Jerry and Morata fall at the center back. Faiba Singh at the left back and Amir Anwarde at the right back. Putia and Ahmed Jahu at the center defensive midfield. Isak at center attacking midfield. Diego Gomes at the center attacking midfield left and Jerry at center attacking midfield right and Diego Mauricio at the center forward now let's take a look at the Kerala Blasters lineup so Kerala Blasters can possibly use a 4-3-3 lineup today so Sachin Suresh will be their goalkeeper Sandeep Singh and Pritham Kotal at the center back Milos Drinkic at the left back and Nacha Singh at the right back Alexander Koif Bibin Mohanan and Anish Farooq at center midfield Rahul KP at left wing and Jesus Jimenez at the right wing and no so they could be at the center forward now let's take a look at the players to watch so I'm a Jahu from Odisha FC could be a player to watch for Jahu is the backbone of Odisha's midfield and a leader on the pitch Jahu's time with FC Goa and Mumbai City FC have turned him into an ISL veteran thus making him an important part of the team the first two matches of the season were disappointing but the juggernauts bounced back and beat the red miners in which jahu played a key role without him in midfield the team lacks creativity proper communication and that cutting edge in switching play jahu's set piece prowess and laser guided precision while praying the defense open and breaking defensive lines or serving it on the plate for the white players will be a crucial for the kalinga warriors to operate against a disciplined tusker side One more player to watch for is No Sodoi from Kerala Blasters FC. The Moroccan wing wizard has adapted to his new club very well and has hit the ground running with goals for his team. 
fans have a lot of expectations from No Sodoi and the attacker is giving his best in every match to fulfill those expectations. He is a player who has a lot of sought after qualities and is one of the best foreign players in the league. No's versatility has troubled all ISL teams this season, be it East Bengal FC, North East or Punjab FC. Switching between flanks can disrupt any team's marketing patterns, whether it is zonal or man-to-man, and the wide forward has picked that up brilliantly. And to that attacking equality combined with dribbling expertise, then No Sodai will be a lethal threat to any side either while cutting inside on his own or creating opportunities. Odisha FC has earlier demonstrated a good play towards fast counters and players of similar mold like Farooq Chaudhary and Nosodoi might be just be able to play on this same side once more. Now let's take a look at the match fact. So the most common result of match between Odisha FC and Kerala Blasters FC when they play is playing at home is 2-1 as these matches have ended with this result. One more match fact is that Odisha FC scored 2.26 goals when playing at home and Kerala Blasters scored 1.31 goals when playing away on average. One more important match fact is that when playing at home, Odisha FC have not lost to Kerala Blasters FC in the last three encounters. Now let's take a look at the telecast update. So the Odisha FC vs Kerala Blasters clash will take place at the Kalinga Stadium in Bhubaneswar on Thursday, 3rd of October. Kickoff will be at 7:30 p.m. Match will be telecasted live on Sports 18, will be streamed on Geo Cinema for foot completely free. And for international viewers, you can watch the match on one football app. So who do you think will win? The home side Odisha FC or the visitors Kerala Blasters? Comment on your opinion in the comment box. If you love the content, then please hit the like button and follow us on Instagram as well. And if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, then please subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss any future updates.